Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, it seems like every other day here lately, we're racing the rain to try to get a video in. So, you guys hang around until after the break. We'll do a quick run around, see if we can get back indoors before the rain starts falling. guys like I said we are racing the rain I will try to pan you around here and get you an idea but these old gray clouds aren't gonna hold off forever so we're gonna run around here we'll grab some footage of the garden everything's looking good but uh, we'll grab some footage we'll take a look see what's going on and then we're gonna get back indoors all right guys we're gonna have to work our way around here in quick scans so bring you over here to the potato buckets first we had three different kinds of potatoes planted in these buckets and apparently these last four they're starting to get done so uh, we're not too far off of a potato harvest um, these guys here are looking pretty good but we're gonna have to get these ones here on the end out of the bucket here before too long jump over here looks like the the newly discovered pumpkins are doing well but uh, we'll see how they do when they grow up. Pan out here across the sea of beans and show you these guys are still doing good. Now if you get into planting these half runner beans, you're going to need to expect that they're going to try to crawl on everything they can find. Here they've uh, they found some weeds and stuff, which is just fine with me. They can feel free to tear down all the weeds they want here in the garden. So there's some little tall weeds that poke up through the beans. and. Uh, they're gonna use them as bean poles, so that's okay with us. We're gonna slide over here. Now what's not okay is they've decided to use some of our South American corn to uh, do a little climbing, and uh, that's, uh, that's kind of a no-no, so we're gonna get in there. We'll probably cut those free of the corn. We're gonna need all that corn. We didn't plant a very big patch of it, so we're gonna need all of it we can get. So we'll, uh, we'll get in here, we'll get them beans cleaned off that corn, and it will let it have the best shot it can get. It's already uh, taller than I am here on this end. But roll down through here. We got some, uh, let's see if I can get back in here. Got some really nice acorn squash coming on. And lots of new blooms. Look like they're getting ready to set. So we should have a bumper crop of acorn squash, which is good. That's one of our favorite squashes here on the homestead. But looks like the the African drum gourds are doing good. Tina will be real happy about that. We're uh, not seeing any blooms over here, but she did tell me that she had some blooms over on the other side. So when we get over there by the sweet corn, we'll take a look and see if we can find them. But one more thing, we'll just ease on around. Got the watermelons here on the end of the garden. They're going for broke. They're gonna try to head over here to the creek. But show you the peanuts here are doing well too. So. Everything is just going well. There's some nice cabbage over there. Get ready to take that off, and we'll be uh, we'll be making some sauerkraut. Got a whole row of cabbage goes all the way up to the end, and the broccoli there is about done. So we'll be planting on this end of the garden again here soon too. But little yellow squash—they're getting ready to come on. They're a lot younger than our other squash plants. But uh, maybe we'll do a video. We got asked about removing some of them big leaves off the squash, so maybe we'll do a video about that when we take them off of these. So. We we'll get over here and look at the look at the sweet corn and everything else going on, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's we'll just take a quick look here at the raised bed garden. I want to show you everything's still just doing well. I hate that we have to uh, rush through this little uh, update. There's just some yellow onions. We got them up and going. There's the tomato plants that were growing up underneath the Brussels sprouts and the lettuce. They were growing through the lettuce, so you guys saw us plant them. But these are going to be our late season tomatoes. Got some uh, cute little uh, chocolate peppers coming on there. I got some green peppers coming on over here in the pepper beds here in the middle. We'll go on down here to the other end and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can find down there. All right, guys, these are some of the new Roma tomato plants we put in. We put them on uh, all around all the arches here. But we'll ease on down through the snacker bed of onions. And we had some questions about uh, how shallow we planted these onions. 
and we don't want anybody to worry. But the only part of an onion that needs to be in the ground are the roots. So if, uh, if you think we planted them too high, we just wanted to show you the results. You might not be used to seeing them that high, but really an onion can grow pretty well on top of the ground. So we shoot over here, got some good peppers going on. The hot peppers over there and on beyond that, over by the riding mower, the beets are getting ready to come out. We got the broccoli over there is still doing well. We got some onions coming in underneath that and that'll be good too. We'll have a follow up crop. So we get over here to the sweet corn. We'll show you guys how things are going over there. All right, guys, we're going to take another look down through this squash. We had some questions about taking off some of the larger leaves and making it grow faster, but we wanted you guys to see that the squash ear is in full bloom. And after we showed it last time, we picked. So these have come on in the last few days. And uh, we'll take you down through here and show you. We got plenty of blooms going on in the squash here. We got plenty of baby squash being made. And uh, picking those leaves off the squash, we'll uh, slide in here. There's a couple of nice zucchinis laying in there. Everyone laying there. But uh, we'll just keep easing down through here. And I'll show you these uh, squash laying out. Now we're not going to have any any shortage of squash this year. We've got plenty of blooms, and the plants are growing fast. The leaves are nice and healthy. They're dark green and growing quick. So we wanted you guys to see that pulling those leaves off really does not hurt anything. We had some uh, had some questions and some gardeners that have been around for a while, and. Uh, they had some questions as to whether that would really work, but we want you to know it works just fine. We got plenty of squash and we're real happy with them. All right, guys, we're on the back side of the sweet corn. You can see over there on the other side is the raised bed garden we just came from. And out here on the back are Tina's gourd plants. I wanted to bring you around and show you this. She was all excited this morning. She had uh, lots of blooms coming on. We'll try to Take it down through here and show you some of that. But we're real excited. We've never grown some of these bigger gourds. So that African drum gourd we keep talking about, that thing can get four or five foot long and about three foot in diameter. But she's getting some good runners starting on the gourds. Like I said, we've got lots of these good flower heads starting to come up or blossoms. You see here, here's some with some yellow blossoms. But uh Seems like all down through here we got good action. So should be looking for some real nice scores to come up for. She'll be a she'll be real tickled with that. I'm not gonna walk all the way down here, guys. The uh, humidity that's coming with this rain is just stealing my breath. So we'll just take a look back through the corn here. Everything's looking good. We'll find something else to look at. All right, guys, we're back up here on the porch a little sooner than we thought. So. No sooner we turn the corner to go look at the strawberries and head out towards the sweet potato patch and the rain started to fall. So we've uh, boogied up here to the porch and uh, we wanted to wish you guys well and say uh, thank you for watching the videos and uh, supporting our channel the way you guys do. We really appreciate it. If, uh, if you guys like the video, we hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or anything, please leave those down in the comments. Um, your uh, thumbs up and your comments and questions tell YouTube to show our videos to more people. They serve as interactions and we really appreciate them. So if you guys like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll subscribe. There's a subscribe button down below. Next to it is a bell. If you'll ring that bell, that'll send you a notification whenever we release a new video. That's a great way to keep up with the channel, guys. But we've enjoyed having you here and uh, we've... Uh, wanted to get out and show you guys a garden i know it's it's uh, been a little hit and miss and getting videos out here lately but we're just dodging in and out of the rain and sometimes the good days we need to use to uh, keep the homestead looking nice you guys are always real uh, real friendly with your words and uh, telling us that the homestead looks nice but uh, that takes a lot of upkeep and there's just the two of us here so on the good days we're split between filming and uh, mowing so <laughs> We, uh, we appreciate you guys being patient with us getting these videos out. We, uh, we love having you guys come by the channel. We love the interaction with you guys. But uh, we're going to have to take off and uh, spend the rest of the day doing something indoors. So you guys have a good one. We'll catch you in the next one.